Pointers with Bob Nunley. That's right, and today we're learning about a disease that can affect the endocrine system. It's called hypothyroidism. There Take you a go. look. We're back at the Franklin County Dog Shelter and Adoption Center with Dr. Melanie DeHaan from SOS Ohio. This is Pet Pointers. I'm Bob Nunley, and we're going to be talking about, you know, this sounds like people diseases to me that we're talking about here yes. with the endocrine system. Yep. Yeah, so this is Nellie. She came into the shelter um, looking like this, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, so anytime we see a senior dog like Nellie that comes in, overweight, she's got some what we call bilateral symmetric alopecia, just meaning she's got hair loss in a pattern on both sides. Mm -hmm. You always have to wonder about endocrine diseases. And people don't know. This is dogs get these things, see, hypothyroidism. I, I would worry about treats, so, you know, but you know, but she has uh, hypothyroidism. Yep, hypothyroidism, Cushing's, Addison's, dogs do get all that. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that we screen for when senior pets go into the veterinarian and we, and, and you're asked, do you want to run blood work on your dog? Mm -hmm. And so if we catch these things early, then we can usually get them and supplement them and treat them and they live a long and happy life. It's very easy to treat hypothyroidism. It's just a pill every other day, or every, twice a day, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> every other would be even easier. Yeah. So what do you have to look for? How would you be able to identify this in your dog? So hypothyroidism, they are overweight for apparently sometimes no reason. Like mm -hmm. you have your dog on a diet, it's not losing weight. Mm -hmm. uh, hair loss, they can get ear infections and other secondary skin diseases with hypothyroidism. And then just kind of general malaise they don't want to get up they don't want to move around and so it's like take a dog to the vet and find out what's really going on yep absolutely simple blood screening test and you can figure that out all right thank you dr dehan as always a great pet pointer local for you from the franklin county dog shelter i'm bob nunley with pet pointers